Hi there, it's Tanya. I'm back to do uh, some more bases if you've been following along. So now we're on the tags. I think this is probably going to be uh, two videos. We'll see. We'll see how we get on. Um, might start with the taller ones. I'm going to start with the collage ones first because I think they're always a bit easier to start with because you've not got got an, as much to, to decorate so hello <laughs> I'm Tanya from Tatty Treasures I hope you are all keeping well um, welcome back to returning subscribers and hello and welcome aboard to anybody new who's just joined us thank you very much um, <clears throat> as always comments are open for you to either say hello or ask a question or introduce yourself whatever whatever you want to do i appreciate um anybody having a bit of a natter because i do like to have a bit of a natter so i'm just gonna ink around these all in one go and then it will save keep stopping starting and inking so if you've not seen the video where I made these sheets, these are from um, the videos in the botanical series and it's uh, franken paper. So it's all my scraps, but it's more cut into like squares and rectangles. It's not like, you know, a collage background. Um, it's very boxy. Um, I really like it. Um, I like collage backgrounds too, but um, yeah, there's something about franken paper, and I will just do this. And this is actually some scrapbooking paper. Um, it was an eight by eight pad from uh, Die Cuts with a View. I've never seen it since I stumbled on it oh, a couple of years ago now on eBay, um, and it was the first paper pad that that I ever bought. And it had got graph paper, maps, um, script, and I think I've used it all now. I think this is this is it. So I would have liked to have got my hands on on another. So that's those done. I'll just put those to one side for now. Um, I've got stickers out, fussy cuts out, and all kinds of things. So I'm thinking these ones, I'll probably just do really simple because um, I don't think they need, they need a lot. So let's, um, let's get them, get them lined up and then as I'm going through, um, come on, let's get a bit more room. Um, as I'm going through the pile, I can just see which ones which ones work best can you still see no let's iron it up a bit oh it doesn't want to hold on a minute okay i'll zoom back in when we've when we've done this bit right so that's a bit too short that's a nice length too small they should go in my small um one really i think my die oh, die cuts my fussy cuts are a little bit mixed mixed up. I've not I've not got a lot, but um I have said I am not cutting any more out until they've gone. So because otherwise you get loads that you're just never gonna use. Right. I like that one. So that's that. Oh I do like this purple that looks lovely on there. Yeah, I like that. It's really nice on the on the dark. I think that needs something smaller. Yeah. If I'd have thought about it, I would have put the tags in height order. Because <laughs> that's just the kind of person I am. Yeah, say no more. Um, oh, that's lovely, but needs to be a bit wider that one's nice and we have got another two haven't we two quite tall ones um oh look at that 
I think that's going to be too wide, but I could take one of those leaves out, and I really do like that against that. So pop that over there. What's this one? Oh, that's... is that the is that the tallest? Yeah, let's do that. I really love these purple ones, so I'm not going to use that. I wonder, let's swap that out for that. No, it's too small for that. Hmm, maybe. Yeah. Okay. I think I think we've got all those images. Um where's the thing that I got it out of? Anybody? <laughs> right, they're over here. Oh big stretch. Colin. So we'll come in a little bit now. Sorry if that made you feel a bit sick. So let's let's do this one first. So I'm gonna take this uh, leaf off and get my smaller scissors. Colin. Yeah, that's lovely. So I will just ink around this. So I think with these ones, all I'm going to do is stick them down. Um, I'm going to uh, put some eyelets in and find something to, to put at the top of them. And did I say a label? Just just a label, just simple, simple tags because that's all I think they need with these busy backgrounds. And I like that right up that side um because it hides that join unfortunately if i put it there that bit of leaf just hangs over slightly so i'm just so let's see see how that is oh that's fab Right, I'm not going to stick that down yet because I might put the label um, just behind it slightly. So let's have a look. Ooh. No, it could have worked. Definitely could have worked, but it didn't. <laughs> it didn't. I quite like that. I might use that on another one. Quite like that too. I use that on another one. <laughs> Just find the one that you're looking for. That's in the wrong place. That should be over there. Right. Oh, I like that circle. But maybe that would look better on one of these green ones. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it would. Anyway, I'll keep finding um, ones for the other ones. Nope. Nope. I was just trying to. No. Nope. Maybe I need to get myself one of those folders um, and have all my um, labels in, in that size wise and colour wise, but. I don't really want to make one, <laughs> really. Um, I don't know if you can buy them. Have you seen anybody sell them? Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't fancy buying, uh, making one because, I mean, all it is, obviously, is, is a book um, and then pages with, like, vellum or acetate pockets. Um, but I feel like the pockets are going to need sewing down. And yeah, I just don't fancy making one. But um, I do think they'd probably be handy. Um, I don't find the way that I store them as a crafter, it works fine. Uh, but as doing videos, um, I just think it slows the process up just a little bit. And that is, it's funny, there's a lot of things 
Like, I don't use art glitter as much off camera as what I do on camera. Um, but I want it to stick straight away, so I will use the art glitter. Um, yeah, so you do craft differently when you're filming to to what you would um, normally. So that's fine. Um, I might have a number. Let's um, let's delve through this one. That cutting is so bad, I'm going to throw it. I think that's been in there for over a year and I think I just keep pulling it out and going, oh, that's that's atrocious. <laughs> it's like you're never going to use it, are you? All right, let's be honest. Oh, I like that. It's got, um, it's got a little bit of graph paper in the back of it. It's really nice. And at the moment, I have done a lot of cutting out of kits for labels and stuff, you know, to do the, all the botanical things. So I am at full, um, you know, I would never normally have that many. It's just I wanted to get them um, all printed off and, and stuff. Right, I think this needs a little bit of a closer cut. I've probably told you a million times when I'm cutting lots of things out, I, I cut things quite wide um, just for quickness because, you know, some some things, like I say, they can be in your stash over a year and it's like if you've just sat one night, you know, for hours and then you're not going to use that piece for for about a year, it's, um, it's a bit of a waste. So I do tend to... Um, and just trim properly as I need but um, again it, it's probably not an ideal thing to do um, when you're on film so yeah I do like that and I like it just there so what does that look like there yeah I like that yeah yes I like it <laughs> So I've had these since I first started about two years ago. Um, so thinking about that, they was from AliExpress. Um, so I'm just going to put... I think probably AliExpress is one of the f first... Well, apart from eBay and Amazon. But um, yeah, it was the first kind of crafty place that, that I heard about... Um, I did, I did do quite a big order, you know, for stickers and this, that and the other when I first started. And um, I think that's the only order I've ever had. I did order something else and I don't know, I don't know if it just never got here or they cancelled the order, but um, I never, never received it. But I have just ordered some, some lace from there because um, I have bought some crocheted lace and it wasn't that expensive but um it was cheaper on there so I, I have bought some more so we'll see what see what it looks like I've only had five yards so if it's um you know if it's really not very good it it doesn't matter so I'll just stick around this and stick that down Oh, I must bear in mind that I'm obviously putting holes up there. I sometimes do that and then you think, oh, where am I going to put my hole? So that's that one. Let's have a look at this one. I think I've just cut round here just a little bit. I think I'm getting ready for needing new scissors. But... Yeah, it's a bit weird because obviously before being a crafter, you know, I had kitchen scissors and they'd last for years. I've never had to like replace scissors and things. But yeah, I've cleaned the blades on these several times. Um, but they're not as, you know, sharp as they used to be. So that's going to sit there. What else did I pick out? 
picked that one out. I do quite like that there, actually. I don't know what that purple mark is. I think that was on the actual music paper. Um, quite fancy. I don't know if I fancy sample there and then number. So we'll look at, no. Nope, nope, nope. About that one. Oh, that's a possibility. Can I live with them being two different colours? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. That's, um, but I do like it. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah. It's a bit small, that. I can find one like that, but a bit bigger. Not the same size. Nope. I don't want two ovals to a night. No. I was fine once I before I pulled that out and then it's just messed it all up. Right, I'm going to take that one out. I'm going to go with that one. And I'm going to stick those down. I'm not going to ink this. And again, I'm just going to put a bit of glue on it because that's from the, <laughs> the same pack as I was on about. So that's that. I'll just give this a bit of a ink round Let's see. Just gonna... okay and then we'll place that in there so that's that. So I'm still wanting a number, aren't I? Number, number, number. It needs to be smaller than that. Let me just grab some. I'm going to pop that in there. Okay. Pop that there. That's that one. Let me just get the corner of that. That's it. Okay. And I've got this one. I think I must have cut around something else to get that because it was a bit of a weird cut off. Ooh, right, I think that's fine. So I'm going to have that up that side because then that goes over that crease there. more off this side I don't think it's made much difference for me I like it there it should still be okay. I'm just thinking of the of the whole So 
So if I get that about there. Okay. Um, I'll have to get some I think I've got some scraps of <coughs> some green sorry silk so hopefully I have some that fit oh I like this little one I can go there but yeah you never seem to be able to find the little tiny ones because they're obviously all right at the bottom so that was a good find <clears throat> so that's that one two more to go let me just move that come around a little, little bit more <clears throat> still quite yeah that's probably better you do tend to bring it to yourself it, it is a natural um thing but I know a couple of times people have said, oh, you was off, um, you know. Um, no, I don't like that. <clears throat> don't like that either. Don't know why I liked it in the first place. Oh, don't mix numbers and labels. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, my goodness. Right, that shouldn't be in there either. Oh, I like that colour number. Oh, got it. <coughs> oh, I like that. Yeah, that's definitely going there. Oh, I've gone really quiet Thursday. I'm getting ready for a <coughs> cup of tea. I hope that's in the right place. Yeah, that's fine. So let's stick this down. This looks as if it's on a bit older paper. Oh, I know what book that's from. <coughs> I would say it's not such a shiny paper. That's why I rubbed the dobber across it, not so much really to darken it, but to just to knock, knock the shine off a little bit. <coughs> right, let's cut that a bit straight. Um, have I got something just to, to pop? behind that I've got this little bit of eyelash trim here it's just I've got a bit of lace as well I'm wondering if to just um let's make just looking to make a bit of tissue <coughs> Gives it a whole new meaning, doesn't it? You've got tissue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like that, but a bit smaller. Yeah. So pop that there. And, and that's that one <coughs> and the last one of these oh, I've got those other two haven't we what time are we on oh we're only on 24 that's not too bad and say so these ones are so quick because you've already done you know the main the main bet okay going up one it'd be nice so I love that there and then I don't mind I don't think it's the right, the right one. So. 
Okay. <clears throat> if I want to add words and things, I will <clears throat> add them as I as I use them because I always think if you've got words on everything, I mean you could say that about labels, couldn't you? But I do think if you've got words on everything, it's a bit it's a bit much. But I think like the labels and things they go into the background, whereas I think words stick out. Um, your eye seems to be drawn um, to the writing, so I like to leave them and add them as I'm using them. Oh, I really like that one. So that's that one. And then these two, let's do the dark one first because I think that'll be um, a quicker one. So I'm going to go in and then just follow that other leaf round like so. And I'm going to have to let's get right in. If it's still too too um, wide, I will have to like reshape the leaf kind of thing. Yeah, it's just a little bit. Let's just take a bit off <coughs> this side. Okay, that's better. Fits. So yeah, sometimes you just have to cut little bits off and reshape things and and after you never know. It's like to me now that looks like that's the way it should be and, and that's that. <laughs> and that's that, right. That's that's already been inked around. So I'm gonna have it. Um, there right so what can we put in the background I've got a bit of um, text got some of this would look like it might be too too much too much or too much right got a bit of graph paper it's all very short though need something longer oh I've got glue everywhere yeah I'm not feeling not feeling it um I think it needs something long might save that for the other one actually let's all right I've got um I'm not sure who this is from. I think it could be digital is it digital curio? Um it's something I bought a long time ago. I think it's all like adverts and, and things. Um I'm sure it was only <coughs> a couple of pounds. And to be honest, I've not really used it and I don't know why because I love collage um, so I think the next time I print a load of stuff out for just collage I will definitely uh, print a lot more out and I've printed it on the newspaper print um, and it, it's just got a really nice feel to it and I think it just gives it a different tone um, I have got the newspaper print in my Amazon favourites if you're um, curious to see what, what it is um, and my printer prints it fine so I think it's something like a 70 GSM it's really really thin paper might even be less less than that so I think I'm going to have that 
about there and I'm going to cut, cut round it. I might have to stop and go and get myself a drink. So my throat is so dry. Right, so that's that bit. I don't know if I'm going to have anything else on it. I quite like that. I like the darkness of it. Yeah, I like that there. And this is um, a label from Tina at Shabby Dabby Doo Dot. It's her brown labels. So that can go there. I don't think I'm going to put a number on it because I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. So I'm just going to do that. that's that one I love that and then we've got the lighter one so this is um, that rust digital from after midnight design really do love these papers and um, just look at that I don't know how she's done that um, but yeah it's fab a really nice colour. It went beautiful with uh, the navy blues when, when I did that. Those ephemera sets with that. Um, I must make some more big, big ephemera kits because they, they do always do well uh, in the shop. So I think I'm going to do it down this side because I don't really want to lose those, those numbers. So I'm going to put that down. I'm not going to put it as wide as that. I'll hang it over a little bit. So I kind of want it about there. Okay. So put that on that. I don't know why I do it that way, but I do. I think I've ripped it too many times and then been left, you know, too too short. So um, I think that way works better for me. This cutting at the bottom doesn't work for me though. Right, so that's that. Ink around here. And I think I'm going to put some of the um, painter's paper on. I've not used any straw paper for ages. I'll have to get some out. I, th I don't think I've got any left in my um, collage um, thing. But again, I'm trying to get everything used so I can refill refill it back up. Um, so I do need to, like I say, print some of those adverts out and some ephemera and stuff. And I do it all on the newsprint paper. Um, and it's just easier to, to collage with. Right, where's the image? There's the image. Oh, so that works out pretty well. That's very white. So I'm just going to put it on the back of there. And I'm just going to... It's a little bit, a bit too much. Should really get my brushes out and do it with them. But this is supposed to be quick decorating ephemera. So that can go there. Or oh, let's think about label first, in case I want to uh, put it underneath. I'm being quite drawn to that blue. Oh, I like that, but it's very small, isn't it? But I'm really liking it. It's a bit of a bigger one here. Could possibly take it 
No, I, I like it there. Is that navy blue or is that a black? Yeah, it's a black. Looked navy. Have I just tried this one? Yeah, I like that. Oh, I'm not even. <laughs> I'm not even going to ink it because I'll just forget where it goes. Right. <coughs> that. It's not straight. Yeah. Ish. Colin. I think it's on high alert because it's time for Ryan to be coming home from work. So it just seemed to go on high alert listening for his car pulling up. So do I want anything else on there? There is a blue. Oh, oh I like that. Oh yeah, I do like that. So I'm not going to ink this one either. <gasps> Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> right, so that's that. Okay, I'm going to pause for a minute. I'm just going to tidy all this away and get uh, my sari and seam binding out and then we'll get, get the tops done. Okay then, right, I've got some eyelets. I've got some um, paper. I suppose you call them eyelets as well, do you? I don't know. What are they called? Hole reinforcers. That's what they are, aren't they? So I've got a mixture of uh, seam binding. And this is from... Most most of it is from Splatter Ink. So I'm not going to cut into that one because I haven't started that one yet. Just trying to see if I've got any... That needs to go in my scraps. If I've got any, you know, already cut before I start. Because then, you know, if you're cutting into everything and then you want, like, to wrap it round a notebook or something, you've got no long pieces. Right, so that's really short. I've got lots of that. I think I might use some of that. So... We'll move that out of the way because we've got plenty. And I've got a bit of um sorry and that's from uh Yarn Yarn. Um I buy this for um the dream catcher kits that I um sell in my other shop, not in my uh Tati treasure shop. In my Tinker Treasure Shop. <laughs> I was going to have a third shop called um, Tinker Tarts and I was going to do, you know, baby things. Because I did used to do some mobiles and stuff in the shop, but I said before, my hands started really hurting, so um, I stopped making that kind of stuff. Right, so let's um, eyeball this. You know, really, I ought to be using this, hadn't I? Because, obviously, if you've seen me, um, I've only just had this um, and I've used it once. So, yeah, maybe I ought to use it, do it with this, really. Because if I don't use it, um, I'll just totally forget and then I get a bit nervous and then I won't use it. So, but I don't get how, how do you get all this on? I just don't get it. Oh, I need it on the right setting, don't I? What do you do? Yeah, you do that, don't you? Okay. And then, oh, I don't know. Oh. That's, 
That's not done it, has it? See, what have I done wrong? Let's try it again. So I put it in the other way. So like, how do you keep it on? I don't know. Help. <laughs> Help. Does that mean I've got it on the wrong nobble? Hmm. I haven't got, that one's definitely right. Is it that one? How do you get it? I think it's that one. Let's one more go. <laughs> Right, so I've got it on the doing the thing. Yeah, I did it. Was I just not doing it? I don't know. Let's do another. <sighs> I want to just do that all with this because I don't want to do, you know, go back and forth. But yeah, I do need to force myself to to use it because I'm a bit of a mess with it, aren't I? Is that in? Yeah, I'm doing it. <laughs> Gosh. It's quite hard work. I thought I'll get one of these to make life easier. Right, let's put one of the backs on now. So it does look neater. But I don't know why you keep it on while you put it on there. So when you watch people do it, they, they make it look so easy. I think it's quite awkward. Ooh. Yeah. Maybe it's awkward because I'm just being awkward with it. Maybe that's what it is. Am I getting better at it? I think I'm getting better at it. <laughs> Oh, I'm obviously now just doing the more metal because, well, I've lifted it up onto the desk, haven't I? So, <laughs> why wouldn't I? Right. Oh, I've got two tags together there. Wow. I bet you saw that, didn't you? <laughs> oh, I bet you was like, no, what's she doing? See, I'm getting all flustered. Oh, I don't think I've got that in the right position. Oh, look what I've done now. Oh, dear me. I can't go out with that. That's that. Right. That's, like, well and truly stuck on it. Oh, well. Oh, wow, I didn't think that was going to come off. Right, I'm a disaster. Am I even typing yet? Right, let's try again. I think I've got it on the wrong one now. I don't know, does that one fit better? actually giving me neck ache. Whew. 
yeah maybe you're best with one of the little ones are you just to do your this kind of stuff and just use this big one for when you're doing holes in big things oh, see as soon as i don't look what i'm doing it then sticks oh dear It's so hard to get it out oh, once it's... Oh, I don't want it flying at me. So, right, I'm just going to go back to my old-fashioned way. Whew. But I will keep getting it out. Maybe not on video, but... <laughs> Whew, thank goodness for that, the same. Um, but, yeah... To me, that's that's a lot easier. Right. Oh, and I can't do this lot. <laughs> so, uh, I thought that was too too. Then this one's quite thick. Um, card. Okay, and this one. Oh, I'm glad I've done those. That was excitement. Right. Okay, okay. Let's put that out of the way. And that. Let me put my lid on this. I dropped all these on the floor the other day. Um, and I had to pick them all up. I could have cried. <laughs> I really could have. Right, put them there and let's get some sorry silk on. So this one I'm going to just push, push in. I still haven't found my knitting needle, what I use as a pokey tool. I think I need to buy a pokey tool. Right, I'm going to do it. Like that. What's them tools called? What you score with? Not a bone folder. I've got bone folders, but I've seen other people with metal things. I think they've got like a ball at the end of them. Um, I think that would be a good pokey tool, and it does look um, good for scoring. It looks as if it goes in the grooves um, a lot better. Sometimes I come out of come out of the groove. <laughs> um, so yeah, maybe I need one of those, but I don't know what they are. So if you know, please let me know. And if you've got any tips about how to use that crocodile, please let me know. So this one I'm going to push in that way I don't know which way I prefer either knotting it at the top or pushing them both through I think I'm going to do a comparison I don't think there's any difference no it, but it's funny I see people do it that way or that way so yeah no difference and I have really ripped my nail um on that thing and have damaged the top of that tag so i think i'm going to put a bow on there to to cover that that little blip out so let's do that Oh, it's come out. I think I might have to put one of the sticky ones in it to to cover the whole. Let me get a hexagon one because I think they're a little bit bigger. And if I put one at the front and the back, it will um, reinforce that, that hole. So pop that there. 
and turn it over and then I'll leave the, that one till the end give it time to to stick so that's that okay right pop that there what was the dimming let's do that on this one then oh I'm going to do it in that green I like that green I like all the greens <laughs> I pop that through. I think I'm going to tie it at the top and then do um, a bow. So I'm thinking if I tie it more to the front, it'll probably lay nicer than it being right at the top. We shall see. Where's it gone? I couldn't get the loop. Right. What's that? That's it. So pull that bit down and that bit down. Like so. And then I'm going to cut that off to there. So yeah, I think that weighs better for oh that's so pretty i'm gonna do another one of those so let me put my scraps in my tub um i'm not so keen on that i should have used the dark ones for the for the first ones that's a bit dark i'll do that one so i'm gonna do that again in fact oh, i think they're both the same actually So that's that. This could be virgin on grey, really, but it's definitely uh, green. But yeah, first first look, it does look grey. So yeah, it's a bit too too big. It's not too big. Oh my, I think I've gone to bits now, haven't I? Come on, just pull. Ooh. <laughs> I quite like that. <laughs> it's a bit um, in your face, but yeah, I like that. Still. Okay, I'm, I'm leaving it like that. Right, so put that in my scraps. I'm going to do these with a, <coughs> with a lighter green. A bit fresher. So I wonder if this will rip quite well. Some of it does and some of it doesn't. Oh, did a little bit. Let's take that off. So pop both then like that like that so that's that one I'll do another one the same as that look at my pin in my glow oh I think it had nearly um, gunked up that glue, but I'll, I'll have problems next time I use that. So this one I'm going to go in like that. I don't have to try and do this in a bow. I don't know why it, it's a lot like doing it double. So let's have a look. Tie it to the front, like so, and then oh, have I got it? I don't know if I've got it or not. Oh, 
have I? Yeah, I think I have. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I like that. Let me just cut that bit off. I like how it's gone to the side like that. That's lovely. So I'm leaving that like that. I don't care if it's not pulled through right or not. It looks really nice. Right. And this one, I'll just do it single. And tie it at the top. And I'll tie it again. that's that one and this one I was going to do it with this wasn't I so be gentle so I'm just going to hold it while I just pull it that's it That's that one. Yeah, I think they've come out lovely. Not them. I've got some dark ones, some middle of the road ones. <laughs> yeah, I think that would have been better with darker. And that one. I'm going to actually change that. I do you think it needs to be? dark because I think those all suit um, them but yeah I just think that needs something darker let's just paint this um, do I have to do a little bow or not they all seem to have bows don't they But I think, to me, I think the saw is better like that and the seam binding seems better um, in a bow. So that's that one. So thank you very much for joining me. Um, I will come back next week and finish the rest of the tags off and we'll, we'll use the stamps and and stencils and stuff and make these a little bit more interesting so bye for now <laughs>